Though some cast members have made an effort to adapt to their partner's culture, many 90 Day Fiancé franchise spouses have been slammed for not making an effort to understand where their partner is from. Since the franchise focuses on international marriages, couples are almost always faced with cultural differences. While some partners have chosen to embrace learning and growth, other 90 Day Fiancé cast members made no effort to understand where their partner came from. When it comes to partner criticism, often the American spouses are called out for their bad behavior. Since the majority of romances in the franchise feature a foreign partner joining their American fiancés in the United States, the American spouses are often not forced to adapt. They then go on to disappoint audiences by not making an effort to get to learn their partner's culture. Others are frustrated by the entitled way the American partners can act. However, other American partners have displayed their cultural ignorance once they traveled outside of the U.S. A common misconception in the franchise is that foreign partners should consider themselves lucky to move to the United States. While some 90-day fiancé cast have been accused of just wanting a green card, many foreign partners leave behind great lives and loving family and friends to be with their partners. That makes their partners' unwillingness to learn their culture even more frustrating. However, there have also been foreign fiancés who didn't want to adapt for their American partners, though Americans are by far the worst franchise offenders when it comes to embracing a new culture. Nicole Nafziger Nicole Nafziger has been blasted by viewers for living up to the worst stereotypes about Americans. The Florida native embarrassed many viewers when she joined her now ex-partner Azan Tefu in Morocco. Azan made it clear to Nicole that PDA was inappropriate in the conservative culture. However, Nicole kept trying to embrace Azan in public through kisses, hand-holding, and other forms of PDA. Nicole even broke down in tears when Azan refused to reciprocate her public affection. Viewers were shocked by how much Nicole refused to respect Azan's culture as she put her own needs above all else. Fans weren't surprised when the couple eventually called things quits, Brittany Banks. Brittany Banks has been panned by many viewers for the way she treated her now ex-partner Yazan Abu Horara. Brittany's rambunctious and over-the-top personality isolated her from 90 Day Fiancé, the single life viewers. However, her behavior was even more jarring when she arrived in Jordan to be with her Azan on 90 Day Fiancé, the other way. Brittany's behavior clashed wildly with Yazan's conservative culture and viewers immediately noticed that the couple was far too different to make things work. Yazan has since moved on to marry another American woman, while Brittany was last seen looking for love to the disdain of viewers. Big Ed Brown Though Big Ed Brown has called for viewer sympathy for himself, the 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 Days star does not often extend kindness to others on screen. When Big Ed traveled to the Philippines to be with his now ex-partner Rose Vega, he wasn't shy about critiquing Rose's living situation. Big Ed was openly disgusted by where and how Rose lived and came across as very rude and judgmental. He made it clear that her living situation was not up to his standards, which many viewers thought was rude to do in front of the camera. 
Unsurprisingly, many viewers want Big Ed to be cancelled by TLC. Devin Clegg. Devin Clegg is another The Other Way cast member who thinks her way of life is superior to anyone else's. Though viewers find that Devon has a fascination with Korean men, and she has even been accused of trying to Photoshop herself to appear Asian, Devon didn't want to actually take the time to understand the culture. She refused to adapt to traditional Korean marriage because it was outside of her comfort zone. Additionally, she made no effort to learn Korean. After showing no interest in Ji-hoon's culture, she was then shocked that his mother wanted a Korean wife for him. Many viewers found Devon's behavior to be ridiculous. Tiffany Franco-Smith Tiffany Franco-Smith has revealed just how much of an unsupportive partner she is on 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, Season 6. The American mother has consistently put down her husband Ronald Smith and aired his dirty laundry to the cameras. She also expressed disgust over his home country of South Africa. Tiffany has insulted much about the country, including the food being outside of her comfort zone. She has made it clear that she would never live in South Africa and considers the country to be unsafe. Rebecca Parrott. Rebecca Parrott is one 90-day fiancé partner who has been branded insensitive. When Rebecca's Tunisian partner Zaid Hakimi first landed in the United States, he wasn't allowed to relax. Rebecca's daughter Tiffany and her husband Micah insisted Zaid go out and they weren't very understanding about his cultural differences. Viewers perceived them to be insensitive, while Rebecca is also called out for her hypocritical behavior. Rebecca banned Zed from even speaking to other women without her there, but then she has went against Zed's conservative religion by sharing nude images online. Many viewers find Rebecca can behave how she wants but that she should not be a hypocritical spouse. The Pottist family. While Libby Castravet has been surprisingly open to her husband Andre and his culture, her family has absolutely not been. The chaotic Pottist family has been called out by many viewers for their outrageous behavior. Libby's siblings were on their absolute worst behavior when they went to Moldova for Andre and Libby's extravagant second wedding. Viewers were horrified to see her siblings insulting the Moldovan food as peasant food, especially since Andre's parents were so kind and welcoming. The Pottist family angered many 90 Day Fiancé viewers with their culturally insensitive and offensive behavior that they have since shown no signs of improving.